Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira X-Ray tutorial, we are going to learn about the test runs and test executions in Jira X-Ray. So in previous tutorial, if I have mentioned about the test executions, I have already created test execution and there was a, I think, a mention that test execution and test run are same. That's not correct in Jira X-Ray. There is a similarity because test run and executions are kind of go hand in hand. They don't go separate. So that's where you might refer test run for test execution or test executions as a test run but internally uh, the test run is kind of different from test execution now they are related okay so when we say when we create test execution so it's an issue type within jira okay it's an x-ray issue type to make sure to add all your test cases into the executions now when those test cases are executed okay when somebody is executing those test cases in your team then internally a run is created for those particular test cases right so it's kind of a when the execution will happen internally a run will will be created so say for example there is a test case that has been executed 10 times there will be 10 test runs that will be created for that particular test case to keep a history of the execution so you'll see in a test case that how many times a particular test case has been executed in which executions so all of that detail is captured as test run okay it's not an issue type but closely the execution and test run are kind of very correlated okay so here if I have mentioned like create test run in Jira X-Ray it's basically creating a test execution and then runs I'll se cover separately or hand in hand as we go ahead and create test execution okay so let me correct this I'll make a test execution slash test run there so it avoids confusion from now on and then we'll proceed further okay so I have made these changes here so test execution slash test runs okay so I'll be referring these two terms closely but please Please note that there is a brief different test run is the internal usage within Jira X-Ray. So if you go to the documentation here, a test run is simply a run and it is an internal instance of a test scenario, right? How many times the scenario has been executed and test execution is an issue type which will capture all the test cases that you want to execute for a particular sprint as a regression, all of that, right? And when those test cases are executed internally, a instance of test run will get created, okay? So I'll show you that as well. Say for example, we had some test cases, right? So let me go to some of the test cases and see, say for example, this one, okay? So ZCSP 17, let's open this and see how the execution will look and how the test run will look, okay? Both of them are very correlated. They, do, they go hand in hand. It's not kind of a separate thing, but internally test run is an internal instance. So you'll see here that we have the test run option here, okay? And this is the test case detail. So if you go to the test runs, here all right you'll see test details and then we'll see test runs which is internal instance within x-ray and you will see how many times this particular test has been executed right so you will see this is the execution right this is the execution that we created and this is the run instance right this is this test case has been executed as part of this execution cycle or test execution that we created and it has passed and you can see all of the details about the execution by clicking on this icon okay so this is how the runs will appear in the test case okay and a test can be part of multiple test executions as well right so if a test has been added into multiple test execution you will see and it has been basically executed then you will see that a run will be created another run will be created here as well right so this is kind of test execution which is an issue type and run will be captured in turn as an internal instance in your test details right when you'll go to the test run tab of the test case okay so now the next question is how to create the test execution right so i have put slash test run but make sure that this is a internal instance when the test will be executed in the execution cycle so how to create test execution we have already seen but let's quickly go ahead and create one more test execution so to create a test execution we simply need to click on this create button okay let me zoom in i'll click on this plus because i'm zoomed in and then in the issue type you simply select the test execution from the drop down you have to select the test execution and then provide the test execution 
summary there so i'll say sprint one test execution all right and then simply provides the description i'll assign it to myself and then you will usually select the sprint in which you are trying to execute these and then click on create now the execution has been created it's an issue type so if we go and view the issue it will show the test execution details right the issue now in this test execution that we have created okay we can go ahead and add the test cases that you want to execute so we'll simply click on the tests all right and here you can add the test okay so i can simply say add test existing test or from the test set or we can create a new test right so we are adding the existing test existing tests because you would have already written the test cases uh, as part of the sprint you simply need to go ahead and select so you can search or you can write jql query or select the existing test that you see here and add the selected test cases okay so you'll see these test cases are added as part of the execution now this is basically how we are going to create a test execution in jira all right now how to add test cases is what we have seen just now simply going to the issue that we have created all right we the issue that we have created the test execution issue going to the test section and then adding the test cases existing test cases or test from the test set so for example you have created a test set okay then you can simply select that test set right and that's where it will be really helpful so for example you are in sprint one two three you create a test set for each of that sprint okay whatever test cases are being written they are added to that particular test set so when you go ahead and create a test execution for that particular sprint you can quickly go ahead and select a test set and add selected and all of the test cases that are part of that test set will be added here okay now because the test set that contains the test was already here in the list so that's why you see only three test cases here so that's basically how you are going to add test cases in your jira x-ray okay and then in the next tutorial we'll see how we are going to execute test cases right so whatever we have added we'll see how we are going to execute because execution is the most important thing for the tester so i'll cover execution in more detail the whole point of this tutorial was is to give a clarification around test execution and test runs so the execution is what we have created is an issue type right and now the run will be when you will click on this button okay to execute this particular test case in the test execution then a run will be an internal inst instance that will be created and will be captured for that particular test case right so say for example let's go ahead and execute and i'll show you run once again so i've clicked on the execute and let's say this time i have failed so this is the high level failure at the top uh, which you can pass fail etc the whole test case all at once okay and then we go back okay so this test case has been executed and status has failed okay now if we go to the test case detail that was 17 let me refresh this screen and go to the test runs so it will show you how many times this test case has been executed and in which particular execution test execution right so the, this was the first one right so this was executed as part of the test execution for test plan sprint one which is zcsp 25 issue which is test execution issue type and has passed and then this is the second execution that ha has happened as part of another execution test execution cycle all right so this is how the test runs are being captured and this is kind of an inst internal instance of the execution of a particular test case all right you can go ahead and uh, click on the actions and see that you can go ahead and archive the execution you can click on this icon to see the execution details for that particular run right now is it possible to execute this particular test case again as part of this execution right the execution that we created so we'll go ahead all right and then let's try to re-execute and see what happens so 17 was already executed right and it has passed okay if i go ahead and execute say for example now this is with the exploratory app okay i if i go ahead in the details now because it has already been executed as part of this i can go ahead and update some of the executions all right so let's go back and let's say for example let's fail this time okay we'll go back and let's open that issue 17 
and then go to test runs and this time you will see that this test case has been marked as failed but the run is as is right so the same run we have gone and updated if you want to have another run all right so we have to basically plan another execution okay for this so that's all about the tutorial what exactly is a test execution how to create a test execution how to add test cases into the test execution and also the minor difference or the very critical difference i would say it's not a minor difference it's kind of test execution and runs are related but then there is a difference between test runs and executions within jira x-ray so all of those details that might have been confusing for execution run have clarified create a test execution added test cases that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching